It's time to celebrate you. Yes, you. A Wawa data breach. Uh Uh-oh. And Foreman Mills makes a whole lot of people happy. Foreman Mills! Welcome to The Hopefulist, a daily talk show hosted by veteran broadcaster Wendy McClure. Join Wendy each day as she shares her life lessons that transformed her from perpetual pessimist to the ultimate hopefulist. The perfect morning show to get you caught up on the day's top stories while sharing insights that will lead to positive transformation and bring out the hopefulist in you. For more inspiration, visit hopefulist.com. And now, here's your host and hopefulist, Wendy McClure. Here we go now. Here we go now. It's Friday. It's Friday. Woo woo. Happy weekend, people. We made it. We made it. It is Friday, December 20th. December 20th. Five days until Christmas 2019. Day 98 of Gotta Get On Ellen. Very exciting. Five more days till Christmas. Two more days till I hit double digits for Ellen, which will happen on Sunday. So I won't be talking about it. Monday will be day 101, and I will have to spend uh, send her a special video for the 100th day of Gotta Get On Ellen. I wanted to tell you a little bit about what's happening with me, the hopefulest, next week. I will be here. I will be doing shows on Monday, on Tuesday. That is Christmas Eve. I will be taking off Christmas Day and the day after but back for you on Friday. So I am taking off the day after Christmas instead of Christmas Eve because I will be not home. I'm going to be spending Christmas at my cousin's house, Christmas Eve and Christmas night. I'm not sure he knows that yet, but hopefully he will be listening and know that. Uh, we have, um, it's just hard to drive all the way home after a big, huge Christmas dinner. Um, it's about an hour and a half ride, but you know, it'll be dark by then and all that. And you know, it's just too much. It's just too much. And then the hubby, the hubby has to work the next day. So it'll be easier for him to just go from my cousin's house, which is not even like 20 minutes. So he can sleep in a little later, a little Christmas gift for you. You get to sleep in for an extra hour. Merry Christmas. So that is what's going on with the hopefulist next week. And then, of course, I will be here the following week as well as we prepare for the next decade of our lives. Is it going to be the best one yet? Well, of course it is. So there you go. I will not leave you hanging on Christmas. I will not leave you hanging between Christmas and New Year's. Lots of things going on. Lots of things planned. And we are going to make it a great year and a fabulous, fabulous decade. So I posted yesterday about how I had gone out for lunch because they were moving a house in my neighborhood. They were moving it from the end of my street all the way down the road. Now, we got all kind of different time frames. We had gotten a notice in the mail the day before saying, the time frame was between 10 and 4, and they were going to cut the power to the house, and you weren't going to be able to get in and out of the neighborhood. And they said it was going to be for a four-hour period. But then we got an email alert from the township saying it was going to take from like 9.15 to 11. Well, I could see the house. If I went out front, I could see the house sitting in the middle of the road. And it sat there for a good two hours because what I was hoping was – that it would, you know, happen quickly because I had an appointment at two and I couldn't get blocked in because I had to get my hair did. You know, I had some pretty big roots going on and it was time to get those bad boys covered up. So I couldn't miss my hair appointment. So I started to get nervous when I didn't see the house moving at all. So I jumped in the shower real quick because I always like to wash my hair right before I get it colored because I use all that spray stuff to try and, you know, camouflage the gray so I like to get all of that out jumped in the shower and then I ran out of the house so I went to go grab some lunch somewhere I got a couple of errands done uh, and I usually go to this place called how you brewing which is on um, LBI really nice place it's cute 
uh, very comfortable. They just expanded. There's lots of places to sit. Um, and, you know, it's it's kind of like a Starbucks atmosphere. You know, you're encouraged to kind of sit around and relax, use your computer, all of that kind of stuff. And then as I was going over the bridge thinking I was going to How You Brew, and all of a sudden another place popped in my head called The Local, which is really like two blocks away. They have better selection of food. They have a better selection of food at The Local. I've had some issues with The Local in the past. Everybody loves this place. It's not as comfortable as How You Brew in, but I, as I was driving over, I remembered that they had a particular shrimp salad. And uh, I was like, you know what? If I'm going to have lunch out, I'm going to have lunch out. So I went to the local instead. And I got a really kind of cool spot back in a little booth area. They have all kinds of pillows uh, propped up for you to be more comfortable. Pulled out my laptop. I was one of those. Yes, I was one of those yesterday. I kind of didn't really have a choice. Got my uh, my blog post done while I was there. Did some work. And they were playing Christmas music, and it was very festive, and I just tried to take in the atmosphere and take in the moment. It was very nice. So I check in on my Instagram account, and I find this to be very strange. I check in on my Instagram account, and earlier that morning, I had posted a picture, and I had tagged it Long Beach Island. I do uh, tag most of my Instagram pictures because it's puts you into another category that people can scroll through. And I try to take turns between the area that I live, between like Long Beach Island, Beach Haven West, Stafford Township, uh, that type of thing. So different groups get different, different posts of mine. So I had tagged this particular post, Long Beach Island. While I'm sitting at the local, I'm actually sitting in the booth eating my sandwich. I see that How You Brewin likes one of my Instagram posts. Okay, that's weird, isn't it? Don't you think that's really weird that I was going to go to How You Bruin and I changed my mind at the last minute and went to the local and then How You Bruin likes my Instagram post? I was so floored by this. I almost went out to the workers at the local to share with them. And then I'm like, no, no, no. They'll probably think you're crazy. Just sit down. Shut up. Keep your mouth shut. I think that's kind of crazy, though. Don't you think that's crazy? Craziness. I don't know. I got a kick out of it. But I also got an email uh, to my Hopeless account while I was sitting there having lunch that got me so excited. It was from some woman saying how much she loves my Instagram account and I have such beautiful pictures and that she really wants to be able to share some of my pictures. And I'm like, oh, wow, thank you so much. I'm like, you totally made my day. Here I am thinking she's just being really nice and I'm like, of course you can share my pictures or whatever. So she's like, oh. she sends me an email back. Oh, great. Okay, well, one shout-out is $39. <laughs> Two shout-outs is $79. I'm like, oh, okay, this is what we're doing. So I just kindly replied, um, no, thank you, but thanks for reaching out. Uh, so it kind of, you know, put a damper on my mood at first, and then I thought, well, I must have a pretty decent site or account if they're actually reaching out to me, right? So that's good. It's good news, right? Good news. Right. I don't know. All kinds of things that have never been happening before are happening to me now. And I'm trying to always look at the positive side. So I'm just happy that she, I guess, found my account to be high quality enough to extend her services to. I didn't take her up on it. I have been... uh, Warned against these types of things. A lot of times, um, because they promise you a certain amount of followers. And they could be fake accounts. They could be people that you don't necessarily are, that you are not targeting. Um, So I'm I'm trying not to fall into uh, that type of thing. So it was a very nice day at the local And I had myself my shrimp salad sandwich. It was delicious. Thank you very much. Then I went and got my hair did. And they put out cookies at the hair salon. What are they doing? Why? 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 As if I haven't had enough cookies. But when they're staring you right in the face, 
What are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to say no? People are killing me. Just killing me. So a little bit of news to get to. Um, Some disturbing news. Wawa is announcing that they've had a data breach that goes back to March. Okay. Hello. That was a long time ago. We go to Wawa for everything. We are at Wawa several times a week, and we are always using our debit card. We get gas at Wawa. We get French vanilla creamer at Wawa. We get all kinds of things at Wawa. I haven't noticed any weird activity on my account, but they're telling you to be vigilant, to watch for fraudulent activity on your account. I don't know. They're saying it only affects the uh, store, not the ATMs. But yeah, I use my uh, my debit card for everything. So fingers crossed. So be aware of that. Keep a good eye on your account. The only problem with keeping a good eye on your bank account this time of year is I just see it getting smaller and smaller and smaller. <laughs> that is not going to be the case, though, for a big group of people in North Philadelphia. There was a store in North Philadelphia, Foreman Mills, and I don't know when they decide that they're going to do something like this, but, you know, they made an announcement at one point that everybody that was in the store right then did not have to pay for their purchases, that the store was going to pick up the tab for everything that they had in their cart. What? Why does this stuff never happen to me? Why? Why? Ugh. It's so nice, though. It's a very nice thing to do. And they had video of the announcement and the people's reaction, which was, you know, glee, of course. Yeah, way to make a lot of people's Christmas this year, right? Uh, Foreman Mills, if you're not familiar, they're kind of one of those um, discount stores. They have, I think... I don't really shop at Foreman Mills, to be honest with you, but I know that they sell, like, you know, uh, sports T-shirts, and I think they're kind of like an Ollie's, or I'm trying to think of something else to compare it to. It's like a, a notch below, like, Walmart. Like, you know, pretty, I don't want to say cheap stuff, but pretty cheap stuff. That's right, I said it. I just said it. So, very good for all of those people. Uh, Speaking of paying it forward, like Foreman Mills did, I follow this guy on Facebook. I don't know if I've mentioned him before. He has the oddest sense of humor. Now, he is a guy that I knew way back in the day. In my Q102 radio days, he was one of our club DJs. He was actually a DJ where he spun the records. And I believe he did Egypt Nightclub every Saturday night when Q102 was there, which the radio station broadcast live from Egypt Nightclub every Saturday when I was working there. So I know him from then. I don't think that I ever once spoke to this person. Very quiet. Never says a word. But he friended me on Facebook. And I mean years ago. Years ago he friended me on Facebook. I'm like, okay. He's got the craziest sense of humor. He is so funny. And it's so shocking because, like I said, he's so quiet and he seems so shy. But he put something up on his Facebook page yesterday that I just wanted to mention because it was really funny. Uh, He said that when he was in Starbucks in the line at the Starbucks drive-thru the other day, He told uh, the cashier that he was going to pay it backwards and that the people behind him were going to be paying for his order. (laughs) I just love him. I think he's hilarious. He is just hilarious. Joe hears me talk about him all the time because he's funny. I mean, come on. That's funny. I mean, what do you think that the cashier at Starbucks would actually say if you actually did say that to her? I'm going to pay it. Uh, behind, those people pick up my tab. <laughs> you know, because sometimes that's like a, a thing. Like, they're like, oh, okay. Did you guys arrange that? Oh, yeah. It's all arranged. <laughs> and then you leave with your $7 cup of coffee. Yeah, I'm feeling a little giddy today. 
and I will tell you why. I'm trying to save it up 